you know, once you come to compete or once you come to jump more, you need to have the options of whatever counter stride you need, right? So at the moment, because they're all pretty green, we don't have many options in the counter, right? But at the time, we've got to be able to have more options as coming to the jump, right? So there'll be a time when you want to be able to come in on a collected counter or a time to come into the jump on a more forward counter, depending on what we have to jump. We also have to be able to control our line, right? So the leg yielding off the track or before we turn, we always position our horse same as when we jump, right? So that you've got to be able to ride whatever line you want. It's particularly important in the cross country, but it's also important in the show jumping that you can stay on the track and on the line that you want, right? So, right? so we don't want the horse to see the jump and just charge at it and get to the other side. We want them to, want him to stay coordinated and thinking with his legs all the way to the jump so that the jump holds him. Right? So the jump, what I call the jump, becomes the bit. Right, so on a really well-trained horse, you can drop the reins and he's not going to leave a stride out. He'll just keep cantering down if he needs to shorten up at the jump, right? Not get here and just fly over the jump. So we've got to, he's got to have a gain of respect from that. Uh, the best way I've found to teach that is in trot because the horse hasn't got the power as in canter and a lot of times their canter is not good enough yet or educated enough to be able to understand it. So you come in and trot and then add that trot step at the end. <clears throat> we, all, we all know the importance of the horse staying in front of our legs, so once they get to the jump, we don't want the horse to land and trot. The horse always should land and canter away from the jump so that he thinks forward, right? And then after that, he thinks forward and we must then prepare for the next jump or the next turn or whatever, right?